have you pulled up from the, from the game? What do you make from the Uh Yeah, pulled up pretty well. We had a four-day break, which was nice. Um, it, was, it was a pretty scrappy game, I'm not going to lie. I think we all kind of said after the game it was probably something we got to bet at halftime. But I think the second quarter we did a really good job of defending really well. We probably just couldn't capitalise off our turnovers and... Second half, we kind of kicked away, which is important. So it's, uh, it's good to bank the four points and, uh, and move on. I know you spoke a bit about those, the, the skill errors in the first half during the game, but have you done much to address that sort of afterwards, or do you just kind of run it off as just a bit of a, everything went wrong? No, nah, we'll, we'll address it, but um, I like the fact that we're going for those kicks. I'd rather us be brave with the footy and take those kicks and then not go for it and, and be safe down the line. So, um, yeah, I thought the defence, you know, Rick had a few, Jake Lever, sorry, we call him Rick, um, had a few kicks in board that missed, but I'd, I'd rather him go for it and be confident in himself than, than not go for him. It's something we want to improve on, and um, yeah. What do you make of your form, Christian, heading into a really big game? Team form, or? Team form. Uh, yeah, I think we're in a really good spot, I think, five and two. Um, had two big wins in Adelaide, and obviously a little bloop against, uh, against Brisbane, but um, no, I think we're doing a really good job. Uh, should we wait, sorry? I don't know, Jake Lever, Rick Lever, Rick Lever? Oh. He just looks like a Rick. Nigel Thornberry. Uh, uh, yeah, so five and two, I think we're in a really good spot to attack the back half of the season. Um, there's still a lot of footy we play. We know it's a long season. But yeah, we've got, we've got a couple of big games coming up. True test against, obviously, Geelong, who, who are undefeated, who are playing some amazing footy, and, and Carlton, who are arguably the best team in the comp too. So it's, uh, it's going to be an exciting challenge, which we're really looking forward to. Saturday night at G, hoping for a, for a big crowd to, to get around all the boys? Yeah, it'd be awesome. We're really looking forward to obviously our home game and against Geelong as well. We, we obviously play them down there, so it's nice to play them up at the G and uh, really looking forward to it. As I said, they're, they're a great team, you know, they're probably the best team in it at the moment. They're obviously undefeated, so it'll be really exciting to play them and hopefully get a good crowd. And I know that they had, I think it was their home game last week, and they had 85 or something like that, 1,000, so it'll be, uh, it'll be awesome to have a big crowd on a Saturday night. Yeah, I think so. I think they'll do their research this week and uh, and no doubt plan for those two. And you know, they're both amazing players. Jeremy Cameron was kick five on the weekend and, and Hawk's been incredible his whole career. So it's gonna be an exciting battle which I'll love to see from the midfield. Um, but not just those two. I thought our other defenders have been amazing too. Trent Rivers, Judd McVee. You know, all their small forwards as well, Brad Close and um, Grime Myers is someone who's having an exceptional year too. So, um, you know, obviously those two are the two spearheads of their forward line, but they've got a lot of other weapons that, um, that we need to nullify on the weekend. With Cameron, he's been over to two sides, just going a bit further up the ground and, and accumulating there, even if you're locking down on the inside for 50. Do you guys have a plan to match up on him a bit further up the ground? Which side uh, I haven't, I'm not too sure yet. Um, Obviously, Troy Chaplin, our defender, defensive coach, we'll, we'll talk about that with the players. And um, but yeah, I'd, I'd, personally, I'd probably rather see him up around the, the D50 and getting balls there than um, obviously getting the touches there than, than down the forward line. So it's something we'll plan for throughout the week. Yeah. Do you, as a group, get a bit of extra spring this day at these two games? Yeah, it's, of course we do. It's exciting, no doubt. When you play against the two best teams, obviously Geelong and Carlton, it's it's a really exciting opportunity to see um, as a team where we sit and. Uh, obviously, we're five and two. I feel like we've had a really good start to the season. I feel like we're, we can still play some better footy, um, which is exciting. Obviously, Geelong are playing some great footy, so yeah, really looking forward to the opportunity. No great surprise. Or no great surprise that teams are put, obviously putting some work into you personally. Yep. You had Marlon really trying to sit on you last week and Brisbane the week before. What's your sort of what's your mindset about that, and what do you do about that? I guess. Uh, yeah, it's a good question. It's something that um, I've had in the past and probably back-to-back -back games with um, uh, Jared Berry last week who did a great job and, uh, and Marlon Pickett who did an awesome job too. So it's something I'm, I'm expecting and um, you know, I think for me it's just trying to be as selfless as possible. If they're going to me then it allows other players to, to go through the midfield and get the ball. So um, you know, I can still play a bit of forward, a bit of midfield and I think Walsh, and, Walsh got tagged by O'Connor on the weekend and um, Blickhalves is on to Crips. So it's something we'll I'll obviously plan for and do some research, but um, I also got to fight through it as well. I can't just defeat that I'm going to get tagged. I also need to do a better job of being aggressive and just do a play in my game and um, backing myself in. Does it make you sort of look at how you go about your game and maybe sort of reassess? You know, sort of you get it, you're getting the attention right. What do we do next? Does it sort of make you go back to the drawing board a little bit? Uh, yeah, I'll always. I'll always review my game the way I do, whether they're there or not, and I've already done that this morning and felt like I 
actually played pretty well, to be honest. He was just on me, and I felt like I, I, I got to the right positions and got to the drop of ball at, at contests, and um, you know, my, I thought my stoppage stuff was pretty good, so I'll always try and base my game off process rather than the outcome. Um, obviously, the low possession games the last two weeks, but that's just because they've both been on me. Yeah. Um, but we've won both, oh, we've lost Brinkley, sorry. We won on the weekend, which is a more important thing, and we won clearance, which is something that we've been trying to work on the last few weeks, so yeah. How have you used those extra days coming into this game, going from Wednesday night to a Saturday night game? Have a few days away from Yeah, it's been a weird fixture. Obviously, three games in 13 days and two games in uh, 20, 21 days or something. Every time I say it, I say we play three in four days, so it's just to bring it down a bit more. But um, no, it's, uh, I've, I've just switched off, to be honest. Just try to reset as much as possible and um, spend time with, with my family and, and obviously my fiance and uh, just do some recovery and um, yeah, catch up, with, catch up with a few of the boys. Um, yeah. Shane McCadden's closing in on a senior return, looked really sharp in the VFL on Thursday. What have you seen from him this summer? Because he's an interesting player, he's only played the 50 AFL games, so in Victoria probably hasn't been seen as much. What, what have you made of him? Oh, he's been, he's been awesome, obviously, um, coming from a different club. It, I think we underestimate how hard it is, probably from a mental point of view and physical, to, to change clubs, change environment. Um, obviously from Halls Creek, moving down to Adelaide and then to Melbourne, and, you know, different environment stimulus. Um, Obviously, he's had a few um, injuries in, in the off-season, uh, in the pre-season, but I think the high performance have done an incredible job with that. Um, just kind of taking their time with him and no doubt what you, not you saw on the weekend um, with his attack on the footy is something really special for us. And uh, I don't know what the, the team's going to be, I don't know what good he's um, going to do from a selection point of view, but um, yeah, no doubt it's either, you know, in the coming weeks. Um, but yeah, he's an exciting prospect. He's, a few of his hangers he took on the weekend, well, it's, I'd love to play with him. Uh, forward line, um, you had Daniel Turner, young kid, kicked three goals. How do you think it's come along as a bloke who spends a fair bit of time with yourself? There's always a bit of talk about Melbourne and the connection inside 50. How do you feel that's coming along? Yeah, I think it's coming along well. I think, to be honest, it's not, it's not about the personnel down there. It's about our delivery inside 50. I think we're doing, we're doing a much better job of, um, of actually hitting the right options and, and being more smarter with the footy rather than just blazing, blazing away. I know I've tried to work on that over the off season of just being a bit more calm with the footy. Um, so it, it kind of frustrates me sometimes when we talk about, oh, we don't have a key forward or uh, we don't have a, you know, a Jeremy Cameron or something. But I think the personnel we've got down there are capable of, of doing a great job. And I think sometimes it's the delivery us mids need to do a better job of. And um, you know, I think we're doing a really good job over the first seven weeks of just hitting the right options and um, yeah, being really calm with the footy. It goes without saying that the next two weeks you'll get a really good test of that with the two back lines you're going to come up against who are very polished and very well organised. Yeah, they are, which is which is really exciting for us. Um, not just their defence, but you know, all over the ground, they're, they're both all three of their lines, their mids and, and forwards are, are really good. Um, obviously Geelong are really selfless in the midfield, it's something that we need to do a good job of as well and, um, and their forward line is power. Got a lot of power there, so um, yeah, their defence is good. I think they'll get Tom Stewart back as well, who's arguably the best defender in the game, which I think is uh, really exciting for us boys.